you fancied making your own film but haven't got the equipment, take a look around you. You could use some of the million or so surveillance cameras that are covering Britain. Between locations, we caught up with Manu Lush to find out why she's been putting her face on CCTV. Like when, when, you, when you're thinking of making a film in London and you go and you look for locations and then you see that they have all already been featured because there's cameras everywhere, surveillance cameras, then it undermines your motivation to, to bring in more cameras really. So that was my starting point for Faceless that I thought I would rather than using cranes and camera team at get to work the data controllers as the camera team and rather than having a producer, have a lawyer who consults me how to get hold of the footage. And um, yeah, so I started looking for locations under a different premise. I just looked out for places which are already uh, covered by CCTV and then wrote a script uh, which plays in this places in London, around London, and since then I'm just going around playing out the different sequences of the script and then trying to get hold of the footage. Um, and well, the story of Faceless is absolutely influenced by the different laws which become active once you try to get hold of the footage. So. Um, the story is like a legal ready-made really. It plays in London in the future when um, the built environment looks pretty much the same but all people have lost their faces and um, this is due to the fact that by when I get hold of the footage the data controller were obliged to protect the privacy of third parties in the image so they have to cover the faces before they release the recordings and I'm the only person in the footage who, who has a face that leads us to the second part in the story. There's this one woman who lives in London who one day she, she wakes up and she suddenly discovers she has a face and um, yeah, she, so she panics and she looks very different from everybody else and um, she just wants to get rid of the face and tries to wash it off and goes to the doctor and goes to the ministry and tries to find out what happened. And um, so I'm playing this woman in the film, but because I'm the data subject who is the only person entitled to request the footage, I have to be in the footage. So. Mm -hmm. 